Today I want to talk to you about how to handle crazy in your custody case. In particular, how to handle psychological evaluations in your custody case. I'm speaking a little informally today because oftentimes clients will come into my office and say, Van, I can't contemplate the other parent having custody of my children. They're absolutely crazy and they're a danger. They're a danger to themselves and possibly my children. What can we do? And so I will walk them through the process of how to file and then re receive from the court a motion and an order for a psychological evaluation. This psychological evaluation will oftentimes be greeted in the courtroom with, okay, what's good for the goose is good for the gander. So both parties have to take the psychological evaluation. The parent or my client that's asking for it is often surprised and thinks, well, I'm not the problem. Why do I have to take the psychological evaluation? And oftentimes the court likes to remain neutral at this point. Remember, they haven't heard any evidence about the mental health issues. And so they'll enter it for both sides in a King Solomon fashion, trying to appear neutral at this point, allow the facts to then develop so they can establish credibly, yes, in fact, only one parent, and in fact, the other parent has the mental health problem. I will say also that the cost for these at the present time is between $2,500 and $7,000. And so they're not cheap. But if your children's safety, health, well-being, if in the unsupervised care of this other parent is truly an issue, these psychological evaluations are worth the investment. And they're the vehicle to establish whether or not the other side, the other parent, is truly fit to be able to take on the responsibility of unsupervised visitation.